How many children are suffering from starvation? Look, it's, 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 Rene, we, we might be looking at a million kids um, at risk of dying this year. In Eastern Africa, in the Horn of Africa, we have a severe crisis right now. Famine-like conditions, a famine, horrible violence. So people are fleeing that and they're coming here and they're reaching the sort of safety that they need. Many of these kids we're seeing here are from South Sudan. They've gone through unspeakable things and then they've walked for days, like hundreds of kilometres, surviving on nothing. So they get here in the most desperate states. We're going to go straight to a, to a hospital where we'll see some severely malnourished kids and see the work that's happening very quickly. The, the sooner we reach those kids, the better. The children that come here are the sickest kids. Um, they've gone through the most. In doing so, they've lost so much of their health. But now we have that course of treatment over eight or 12 weeks to keep these children alive. The body is swollen because of lack of protein and also she has some infections. Mm -hmm. It's because of malnutrition. So we have to fix this urgently. If you delay a bit, you might lose this child. Oh, the If you could explain what are the difficulties that you meet in your work? I guess there's probably three big ones. Um, one is just the remoteness, and that means the next thing, I guess, which is resources. You know, the further people are away to get to, then the more, more things cost. Um, and then the third big issue we face, Renee, is, is security. You know, I think that the colleagues I know for UNICEF and, and other agencies will go anywhere, but these are dangerous places. South Sudan is the most dangerous place in the world for aid workers. What would you say to those who doubt that their money actually makes a difference? Look, I understand the doubt because there's so much need in the world. But what I'd say to them is that I see it. Aid works. We know that. We know that over years. But we also know that when we wait, when people delay, it becomes more expensive and, and more, lives, more lives are lost. So you do fail sometimes? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the money comes too late or we can't reach, or there's insecurity, or there's conflict, yeah. But no one can ever give up. If mothers are still fighting for their kids' lives, then, then the least we can do is to keep doing the same thing. Hi, Maziwa. Maziwa, mommy. Baby! Milk, milk. Will she recover? Yeah, most of them, they improve. If you come after one week, you will be surprised. Really? Yes. Oh, wow. Yes. Very good appetite. Mm. Oh, good girl. Oh, look, Kenya. Yeah. Arai ro bo sha edeke ke loko. Na kala ting. Iger iger Mota sai. So ni mudra ke. Hon vill ha mer att dricka. Ah. Om bara kanske en vecka så mår den här lilla tjejen bättre. För att hon får hjälp. Så snälla, bli världsföräldrar du också. 100 kronor. Imorgon.